The concept um, that we have explored is uh, to do with integrated facade systems. We are exploring new ways of, of designing curtain wall systems with a focus on new materials and we try to focus on what those materials can do in the context of curtain walling facades. What we have tried to do is we have tried to bring together the partners uh, across the uh, value chain. So we have the designers, we have the uh, suppliers, we have the uh, systems um, uh, specialist facade contractors involved. What that means is that we have a complete uh, uh, 360 degree view of the uh, supply chain when we are rethinking uh, a facade concept. So what we're doing here is we're exploring the limits of composite materials in facade applications. We try to focus on what the material properties are and the fact that you can tune the material properties and we try to maximize the benefit within uh, curtain walling applications. So what we have done is we have taken this uh, wonderfully interesting material and we have tried to forget about everything we knew about aluminium based curtain walling systems and we have we have forced ourselves uh, down a route to maximize the benefit of this material. The benefits are that it is low thermal conductivity, which means that we don't have to deal with cold bridging. We can produce very large sections. And what that means is that we have a very, very simple system with very few parts, very high performance. And the, uh, the strap line or the ambition, if you will, is that we have half the thickness and twice the performance uh, in a highly efficient uh, curtain walling technology. There are <clears throat> a couple of key challenges for the, uh, for the time to come. Uh, the number one challenge has to be sustainability and how we deal with, with climate change in the uh, way we design for cradle to cradle performance of our buildings. <clears throat> the facade performance is absolutely key to the performance of buildings and so we need to aim for high performance in our facades. The only way we can achieve the targets is to have a very uh, well-structured approach to the design and procurement of facades. And what that takes is competent professionals at the right time in the design process and throughout procurement. And so we're starting to see a trend of facade engineers dealing with the design and procurement of facades across traditional boundaries between the, uh, the disciplines. So you will have architects, services engineers, structural engineers working on the facade across the, uh, the uh, let's say, the historical boundaries. For me, the recognition that facade engineering is a discipline and the uh, raised awareness of, you know, uh, getting the right advice at the right time is key to having high performance buildings of the future.